Praise the Lord Jesus. Listen to me before we continue this prayer. There was something that the Adam Osai said. He said there was one of, there is one of his members in his church. That man, that one is a watcher. What that one does is that anytime that one, that one sees vision, what he sees is that he hears what the enemies are planning against the church. It's a gift. He's online. You can watch the video. The other one, he said that that one, the gift of that one, is that he's a member in their church, a member in the church. He said that whenever the enemies are planning something, that God takes him there. He will hear everything they are saying. And when they raise the prayer point, that prayer point disturbs all those things. He said his own is not, his, so when he hears, he doesn't come and prophesy it. That doesn't, you know, a watcher is not a prophet, but a prophet can be a watcher. There are some people that are watchers, they can go and see, they can sit and see the plan of the enemy. Devil can be making plan, we are going to attack here, we are going to attack here. That one will be the same way demons can sit around you when you are making plans of how your business will grow. That is how some Christians are watchers, that they can stand and see how the enemy is planning things against children of God. And he wake up and say, hey, brother, please, you, you are about to go to Lagos, but yes, please don't pass over there. Please don't pass here. He's not prophesying, he's just telling you don't do that. He doesn't need to tell you why. He said, don't do that. Because such man has attended the meeting already. The same way the devil has his own agent of darkness that can attend a meeting that people are doing in the church and hear what the plans of the church people and begin to fight against them. That's how God has his own sons that can sit and hear the plans of the enemy. Before the devil started it, he copied it from us. It was we that originated it. Elijah started it. Who started it? The devil can go to and fro. Elijah can be in so many... You don't, don't you know that Elijah cannot, it's not, Elijah is not in one place at the same time. Oh. His spirit can be in your office. His spirit can be following another person. He said, did not my spirit go with you, Gehaz? Did not my spirit go with you? A man can be playing chess and his spirit is with you. That is something that happened to spiritual fatherhood and mentorship. When you are, when you are, when you are a son to a man, if you are going somewhere, People will see you and say, I don't know you, but I'm seeing your father's face. Are you connected to so so man of God? He said, yes, he's my spiritual father. He said, no wonder. Oh, no, that one is my mentor. He said, no wonder. I'm seeing so many things about him. Because as you are going, the spirit will go with you. He said, I will not leave you like orphan. To the end of time, I will be with you. Even to the very last time of your breath, I will be with you. Even in your death, I am the power that will resurrect you. We need to pray some prayers. Lord, open my ears to hear the plans of the enemy over my life. Be a watcher. A watchman upon watchtower. Father, open my ears, open my eyes to hear the plans of the enemies. I, I shared with you a story. Listen, I was sleeping and the Lord woke me up and the Lord took me to when the, the first child in my family was born. I think mommy, you know, I shared it with mommy. And something remarkable happened that shocked, it shocked me, it shocked mommy too. I was in that vision, the Lord said, this is this one. I said, why is this one like this? He said, this is what they have done, blah, blah, blah. A woman, a woman spoke in that vision. He said, I heard that Emeka has come to the past to correct some things. And as that woman was coming, the Lord took me from that place. Because if something had happened to me in that place, I would have died physically. Then I woke up and I called the one that carried us when we were small. I said, I saw this. In 1990, this I saw this, I saw this, I saw this. He said, Well, I'm not sure, but go to the village. When you go to the village, go to the dining. There is some pictures that are down. Open them. I opened them exactly what I saw was what was on the picture. So you can go to the past. I remember when God took me to is it 1820 something? He said, This is where your lineage came from. God can do these things. You are the one not enjoying the blessings of God, you are the one limiting God. God can take you to something that to 1980 something or 1925 and say, son, remove this thing from this ground. This is the cause of the poverty in your family. And you just remove it. He said, that is all. Family is free. Just go and enjoy. And you come to your presence. When my mom died, God took me. I saw the motto. I saw how the motto fell. I saw how they crashed. I saw how the thing that hit my mother's face, divided her face. I saw it. I watched it like a television. And I was weeping watching it. And I woke up. And God said, now I'll show you. Now let me show you how she was killed. And he took me to the place where they were making sacrifice. And I saw everyone that was involved that made the sacrifice. 
don't don't see you are living an ordinary life oh no your life cannot be stupid now you can't live a stupid life you can't carry jesus and be doing mu -mu -mu -mu. you are blind in your family you are blind in your business you are blind in your life you are blind you don't even know anything about your life no 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 don't be foolish you have to pay price why is this contract not working and i try to do that more man of god as you are praying for me let me be doing my priesthood father why is this business not working in my life am i no longer your son go for a seven days fast the father will come and meet you he will come he said now you have woken up let me show you this is what they did about your business that Aaron Mosai said that a man went and did charm on his chair because of that for months he did not sit down in his office he came and knew that they had put charm how did he know the Lord showed it to him the same way God shows Elisha he can show you you are the one saying that no no only prophet they see like that that is the biggest deception you have you have the fullness of the Holy Ghost in you You can, God can take you to the root of your problem. He will show you. God can. You're just not paying attention. You're not asking the right questions. Your prayer point is, God, open my door, open my door, bless me, bless me. You're not asking, Father, but what is the root? Where did this thing start? You come and pray in tongue. As you are praying in tongue, your mind is that after you pray in tongue now, money will come to your account. Mundane things. Lord, take me back to the root of this problem. How can I fix this thing in the family? People are dying every three, three years. How can I fix these things in the family? And the Lord will say, okay, fine. Somebody wants to learn. So you are ready now. All right, let's walk. Now, henceforth, you stop taking sugar. It doesn't mean that sugar is the same, but he's talking to you. You can say, henceforth now, you read three chapters every day. You can say, henceforth now, every week you give me three days faster. Oh, henceforth now, no more this, no more this. Okay, for this week, no more movies. Only scriptures for this week no Facebook only scriptures for this week now you pray two hours every single day okay on Saturday give me seven hours that is how God works I remember when God told me he said Emeka I'm gonna show you something about your family you will give me so 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 hours in prayer I postponed it till after one week then I woke up one day I said let me give God that hour I prayed to that hour maybe it was that hour I said eh -eh. Lord, I'm ready for the vision. He didn't show me that day. He took one week to show it to me. Because it took me one week to answer. So he took him one week to, to answer me. I, I'm not saying he will walk the same way with you. That's how he walked with me. A man laid hand on me and imparted me with a gift in a dream. I didn't hear what the man said. The man came physically, imparted me the same way he imparted me in a dream. So I, said, I told the Lord, I said, Father, at this thing this man gave me, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Help me understand what this thing said. After I prayed the prayer, I wrote it down. Three days later, the man, the same man came to me and told me what he gave to me. You don't ask questions now. Don't live your life carelessly or you will die carelessly. When you read scriptures, look at what God did. You open the eyes. And, 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 I remember the day my brother was about to go. So I said, don't go with this car. This car will stop you on the road. He said, well, man, we pray, we pray. You know, man, nothing's going to happen. No prayer, you know, because, nah, you know, we within Nigeria, them. He said, you know, man, nothing's going to happen. Ain't nothing's going to happen. You know, we pray in the name of Jesus. Let's move. Let's go. You go. John, we're supposed to come by 12. They'll come back around 8 in the night. Let me even carry fuel. Go give. I mean, I even find mechanic. Go help themselves. Because I sat down and I saw, I said, don't go with this car. But they think that if they say in Jesus, because I have God, they have God. <laughs> anointing, they're quite different from anointing. Anointing, oh, anointing, not anointing. You carry anointing, I carry anointing. I make you no feel respect to collect something. Grace day, but grace past grace. Anointing day, but anointing day. Masquerade day, but they get bigger, bigger masquerade. Umobai will say we are, how do you say that's how you say, you say we are equal fellowship to, that's how you used to say that thing. But we are not in, on an equal grace. We are both sons to God, but we don't have the same grace. What will more by can speak into your life? Might take you 10 years to enter that realm. He can speak it under one meter, you enter it today. What you are supposed to become in the next 10 years, he can speak it to you, you start becoming it now. And he will not say tomorrow, he say now, let it start happening, it start happening in your life now. Grace past grace. 
boil of anointing boil it boil 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 lord open my eyes let me see you are not asking god to open your eyes the only thing you ask is god which bitcoin will rise you are raising prayer points and are not irrelevant you want to prophesy about bitcoin no 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 father speak lord open my eyes lord open my eyes lord open my ears as i'm teaching you be praying the lord open my eyes open me let me see the plans of the enemy some of you this night the moment you close your eyes to sleep something will happen your life will change you begin to enter tv realm you will sit and see people plan evil against someone and you want the person imagine what happened that a, 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 the son of a man the, 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 the son of a, uh, of a, uh, the woman died and Elijah said the Lord did not reveal this thing to me he said the child died the Lord did not reveal this thing to me now which means that if that thing should have happened Elisha should have seen it you something happened he said well it don't happen now what you, can we judge God can we judge God Pastor David Obueli said something. He said before anybody dies in the family, that they, God used to show him the lowest time God was is six months ahead. Before my mom died, they showed me two years ahead. I'll be one year ahead. When they were planning to kill my, my, my younger brother, the Lord showed me ahead. I was one accord. I said, young man, stay at home. Don't go anywhere. Later, he told me, see what they happen. I said, well, you have to see it now. You are just sleeping. Those people are relying on your visions. They are still blind. You will keep seeing till all of their eyes open, then you can rest. You want to have a child. Have you seen the name of your children? You want to marry. Have you seen the name of the person that will marry you? You are walking blindly. Hey, if I like him, I will go for lamb now. No, you will sit and see you conjure. Father, open my ears. Open my ears. Open that sometimes you need to just stay in one hour, Lord. Open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes. My business is not moving. What am I missing? Show me, and the Lord will show you that somebody came and dropped a calabash. And you come to that same place, say that calabash they drop here. Uproot in the name of Jesus. When the calabash uproot, you won't run because you have seen it in the spirit already. Some of you, your shop is because somebody came and poured a particular water on your shop. You came one day and said, why is here smelling? You thought maybe someone urinated, you mopped it. Since that day, your shop, your business collapsed. Lord, show me, show me. There was a time the Lord came, he told me, he said, these people, this one, this one, these people, these ones will offend you. I said, then Lord, what will I do that this one? He said, leave them. But these ones know them. That these ones will not be with you. These ones will offend you. But stay with them. Stay. When the time comes, I will stay. Even Jesus picked even the one that will persecute him. But the Bible said, curse be. I remember that the Aaron Mosai told the story. He said that for 14 years, it, it looked like he was not growing. Some of the pastors rebelled against him. I said, this one will not grow. He doesn't know what's up. The moment they left, the ministry blew. You have to. Before Judas is kind of disobeyed Jesus, Jesus had already seen who will offend him. It was not his plan that it would be Judas, but he said, Did you betray do you you betray your master with a kiss? None of the disciples knew. He said, Hurry up and do that which you want to do. A man that knew how he would die. He didn't say, Judas is kind of you want to betray me. You are out of the 12 disciples. No, he said, I stay because you will betray me to fulfill my mission. How did he know? He saw the anointing. The anointing and allowed Jesus to be able to descend the heart of people. People are thinking in their heart, they can descend their heart. The anointing. You can see into the heart of people. William Abraham walked with that anointing. When you come before him, he knows how you were born. Everything that happened, he could see you. Don't be a powerless and an empty Christian. You won't have time for such nonsense. Father, if you won't give me power as I sleep this night, take me home. I'm wasting my time here. I used to pray such prayer. I said, after I never born, no. if you go take me home, take me home now. May my wife go. 
my wife, I know my wife, he goes, say, Lord, I said, don't take my husband, carry me to go to. Carry me to go, Jehovah, carry me to go where you did. You, you have to come to that place. You cannot be on this earth and not be usable by God now. Oh, taboo. It's wrong. You are on earth, you are blind. You are not useful to God on earth. You are useless now. No, 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 no. Father, open my eyes. 